Welcome to What's the Book About? This is Trapped by James Allen Gardner. This is the story of Philemon Abu Dubai and his quest to save Romeo and his not Juliet. So we're back in the Expendable series universe, and if you're lost, just go back and watch the other videos and catch up. Now, this particular novel takes place on Earth, and it's set in the far future, and Earth is very, very different. You see, sometime in the novel's past, the advanced alien race called the Shadil offered all of humanity the chance to experience the wide, wild universe. Anyone that said yes was immediately taken up. The mass exodus of humanity decimated governments. Not a single one survived. And sometime after that, the Earth was sprinkled and covered in nanites, these tiny little machines that get everywhere. And, well, they can pass energy and perform all kinds of interesting tricks that have come to be, well, the equivalent of magic. In fact, the Earth citizens recognize anyone who can control or manipulate the nanites to an effect in the real world are considered like wizards, witches, sorcerers, and the like. And the Earth has a new government, the Spark Lords. They're the masters of magic, and magic rules the day. So Phil is a teacher at the Phyllis Academy a third-tier private school where the rich send their second and third-tier family members to be edumacated. Now, Phil and his friends end up having to form a group to go and solve this quest, just like the classic D&D archetypes. There's even the priest, the knight, the bard, the mage, the buxom babe, and the hero. Of course, the author takes his own little spin with this, and the priest is a kung fu nun named Impervia. The knight is a retired knight named Pelinoir. The bard is actually a music teacher from the school. The mage is a petite little Asian woman with psionic powers named Miyoko. The buxom babe is a seductress slash sorceress named Gretchen. And of course, the hero is Phil. Now, the story starts. Uh, when one of the students from the academy is murdered and her boyfriend has gone missing. But of course, her boyfriend isn't the killer. Okay, so the boyfriend not being the killer isn't an actual spoiler, but be warned from here on in there may be a few. I'll try to keep it to a minimum. Now, Rosalind, our murdered girl, is secretly the daughter of a pirate queen. Sebastian is actually secretly a highly powerful, but as yet untrained mage. And he's actually the target for the killer. But the killer isn't trying to kill him. He's actually using him for his own nefarious goals and for a secret little plot. Now, Phil and his friends group together and are charged with the quest to go save the boy and stop the killer. But they aren't the only ones on the case. No, a spark lord has going after the killer for her own reasons. Why? Well, the killer didn't start with Rosalind. No, the killer is actually a shape-shifting alien named Lucifer, and he's actually the Spark Lord's only real rival and enemy. Because the Spark Lords have tremendous magical powers and they rule the Earth with well, an iron fist. So naturally, going after this shape-shifting monster will be a piece of cake. <laughs> okay, it's at this point that the quest becomes a race between the various groups all trying to vie for the shape-shifting alien, trying to stop it in its nefarious goal for their own reasons. Secrets get revealed, and in each encounter it becomes more and more deadly and violent until eventually we get to the finale and the good guys win. But it's not without cost. So this is the sci-fi version of a classic D&D adventure. And this is actually a major plus because, well, if you've ever played D&D or even done any online role-playing, you get the whole party 
uh, mentality and it helps you get involved in the character sooner and helps to hook you quicker. The, it's not really a flaw but it is a small downside. I would have loved to have seen more character interaction because they hook me so quickly. But the author just has to sacrifice a little bit of extra characterization to keep the pace flowing and honestly it works out rather well. Now one thing that is not given enough background story and becomes a major flaw because of it, the Spark Lords really needed more background. Your interaction with the one that you do meet does show you that they are powerful and that they are scary but too much is left unsaid and is just too vague and I'm not sure if it's contradictory but really more needed to be said to set them up to to make them as fearsome as they really should have been for the novel. Another major downside is that the main character he's just too passive. I mean he doesn't choose to go on the quest he's given it and there does come a point at the end when they can let the authorities deal with the um, uh, final conclusion because they do rescue the boy but it's the other characters that are the ones that speak up and uh, articulate why they want to be there to complete the quest and to see it to the end and you do get a nice little bit of characterization when they do talk about their motives and you are a get a feeling, I guess you'd say, that the main character does have his own little personal motivations and his own need to see it to the conclusion, but it's handled far too passively for my taste, and it is a major flaw. However, in the finale itself, this particular flaw is used for rather enjoyable comedic effect, and that is a definite positive. So in the end, what is the book about? The dreams of youth. All the characters are actually motivated by the dreams that they had and held or hold as young adults. The victim of the that starts off the quest, he's trying to live out his Romeo and Juliet fantasy. The main characters are have come to that point in their life when they believe that the dreams that they held as use were no longer achievable, that they couldn't reach them. But with the quest, they actually managed to reach for the dreams that they held as children and become the heroes that they had always dreamed to be. And this really helps to hook you to enjoy the adventure that they're on, which is why I have to give the book three stars. It's a really good and engaging read. Well, Sadly, the book is out of print. You can still get it as an ebook. So go out and get it. Read it. Enjoy. Till next time, have a good one.